Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. Today we're checking out a motherboard and it's the ASUS Prime B350 Plus. So let's jump right into it then with the key features. So of course this is going to support all your AM4 Ryzen CPUs, that's your Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 CPUs, like all X370 and B350 motherboards. Now memory wise, so it supports dual channel DDR4 memory up to 64GB and up to 3200MHz in its OC mode, so that's really good to see. Now it's coming with their 5x Protection 3. So this has over voltage protection, a safe slot, basically it's just better attention for your GPU. Uh, land guard, which is good to see, an ESD guard, and they say proven compatibility and that it's been tested with over a thousand CPUs, memory modules, and GPUs. So that's going to be good for your compatibility. I'm pretty sure all motherboard companies though test with a large variety of CPUs and memory and GPUs to make sure everything works properly. But Hey, it's good to know that they definitely have. Now, audio-wise, it's pretty disappointing. It's coming with an ALC887 audio codec. That's, uh, yeah, definitely on the low-end side of things. And it also comes with Japanese capacitors, which is good to see, but it doesn't come with very many. All in all, this is basically going to restrict you to basically like 2.1 audio. Uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be the best, and after testing this myself, i got to say... Yeah, it's probably the worst audio I've heard out of any of the B350 motherboards or any AM4 motherboard I've tested so far. Now let's talk about the layout then, and we'll work from top to bottom. So up top, like usual, but a bit off to the side, is the 8-pin uh, CPU power connector. Then over a bit more to the right, we have the CPU fan and CPU optional headers. Now VRM-wise, it's coming with a 4 plus 2 power phase Digi Plus VRM, which I've read around and some people say, or some people claim, that it's the best on any B350. Uh, personally, I guess maybe it could be, but there's still plenty of other very good ones out there, especially on those MSI boards. Now under that, you have an RGB header and the third and final fan header, which I just honestly have to say, that's absolutely pathetic. Really guys, three and one of them's going to be used up anyway from your CPU, so basically you only get two for your case fans. Uh, I would have liked more than that, that's for sure. Now over on the other side you have your uh, motherboard connector, just like normal. Then moving down you have two right angle SATA 6 connectors. When we move to the middle now, we see that there is a times 4 M.2 slot, which is above the GPU, so that's good placement there. You don't want it under the GPU generally, so that's quite good. Then uh, PCI-wise, you have your PCIe times 16 slot up top, like usual. That's the one you're going to be wanting to use for your graphics card. Uh, if you're going to use a second graphics card, which I probably wouldn't recommend, as I already showed in my B350 uh, Crossfire video, then you'll have to use uh, the PCIe x8, uh, which is a 16 physical slot by x8, um, for your second GPU there. Not really ideal, <laughs> and that, yeah, so not very good. You also get two PCI slots, that is good to see. Some people will really like them, that's handy to have. You also get two x1 slots, which are going to be handy as well. Now down the bottom there, we see four more SATA 6 connectors, all your front panel connectors there, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 connector, uh, that's on the bottom though, strange positioning again, uh, usually this is up by like the motherboard connector, but whatever, it's not the end of the world. Then we see two more uh, USB 2.0 headers, a COM port, a SPDIF output, and your just front, port, uh, front panel audio connections there. We flip around to the back then and talk about the I.O. and we'll work from left to right. We see a PS2 port there above two USB 2.0 ports, VGA and DVI ports, an HDMI port. Then we get a USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, so those are the blue ones. Then we get the USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, those are the teal I suppose you would say ports. An RJ45 LAN port and two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. Then audio-wise, you see you only get a mic-in, a line-in, and a line-out audio connection. So this is very basic. Uh, yeah, not ideal for most people, but I suppose it'll get you by. Now let's talk about something important, and that's the BIOS. 
So this BIOS for me, I had a lot of issues with it. The first time I tried to update it, uh, it, it just wouldn't work properly and I had to flash it back. After that, I found, you know, once I got it running properly, I found the BIOS to only be okay. Uh, it's just not going to have enough stuff for some people out there, I think. There's only an offset mode for the CPU voltage as well. There's no fixed mode, which is going to annoy a lot of people out there. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I can use both fixed or offset just fine. It's not an issue. But when I was overclocking with my Ryzen 1700, trying to get it to 4 GHz with the 2933 memory, it was pretty difficult. For some reason, it just couldn't do it. If I added it 4 GHz and 2933 memory, it just would not post. Uh, it, it, we could just, it, it was just having so much trouble. Now, if I turn the memory down to 2133 and 4 GHz, it worked just fine. If I turn the uh, CPU down to like 3.8 uh, and 2933 me uh, memory, then it would work. But this is the only B350 that I've had this issue on. Every other AM4 motherboard I've tested this Ryzen 1700 with, it's the same CPU has been just fine with doing 4 GHz and 2933 memory. But for some reason, this one just had issues. I also uh, yeah, had issues with USB, kept kicking out devices and stuff. So there were some USB issues there as well. So yeah, all in all, I wasn't really a fan of the BIOS and I had a lot of issues with it. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of this motherboard, the B350 uh, Prime Plus? So at playtech.co.nz right now, it's coming in at 179 New Zealand dollars, which is exactly the same as the Gigabyte Gaming 3. Now I haven't tested the Gaming 3 yet, but after having a quick, quick look at it, uh, on paper it seems better than this, that's for sure, but I won't be able to tell for sure until I start testing it. Overall to me, this Prime B350 Plus is just okay. It really doesn't have enough on it, even for a cheaper board. That's basically how I gotta put it. You know, like three fan headers, that's pathetic. Really basic audio, a basic BIOS, USB issues and overclocking issues. All in all, I really didn't like it. I see online that it's got a kind of love it or hate it type, you know, that's what people seem to think about it. Lots of people love it, lots of people hate it, and personally, I'm yeah not a big fan of it at all. This is probably the worst B350 I've tested thus far, so I really wouldn't uh, recommend it. It's not ideal, uh, even for a cheaper motherboard. You're much better off either maybe buying something else at this price point or just saving up a bit more money, you know, like 30, 40 more dollars, and you'll get yourself uh, a much better motherboard for you know not really that much extra money so yeah not very good not ideal but it'll still get you by i suppose now i thank you all for watching this video please let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you agree with me or disagree with me and why and as always i'll see you guys next time